the week. This is the story about a young man called Patrick who set out from his house one day to buy a boring. In the town, the streets were full of the stores. One sold vegetables, one sold fish, and another sold clothes. These stores were very interesting. But Patrick did not stop until he came to the one kept by Mr. Onions. On his store, he had a broken jug, an old lamp, a mouse trap, and all sorts of things that people did not want anymore. Have you a buy on to sell? asked Patrick. You are in luck, says Mr. Onions. I have just one. Patrick bought the violin with his only silver piece. He was so pleased that he ran as fast as he could out into the fields. When he got there, he bruised the trust of his violin. Then he sat down by a pond and began to play a tune. As he played, the most extraordinary thing happened. One by one, the fish in the pond began to jump out and fly about in the air. And what is more, they were all different colors and they were singing to the music. Just then, a girl and boy came along the road. Their names were Cass and Mick. Did you do that? asked Mick, pointing to the fish in the air. And Patrick said, yes. Then, he played another tune, and the string twine cast here, turned its red ribbons, and the laces in mixed boots turned into blue ribbons. The tree went down the road together. Soon they came to an orchard of apple trees. Patrick played his bowing and the days on the trees changed to all kinds of bright colors. Instead of apples, the tree began to grow pears and bananas and cakes and ice creams and slices of hot buttered toast. 
cats and make run about among the trees and helped themselves to whatever they liked. As they were eating, a frog pigeon flew down and Patrick prayed his bowling again. The birds began to sprout bright new feathers until they were the most beautiful birds you have ever seen. Cash and Meek fed them on crumbs of chocolate cake. After Patrick and the children had gone, a little farther, they met some carrots. They were white with black spot. But when Patrick played his violin, the carrots became covered with colored stars and started to dance to the music. So they all went along the road together until they met a tramp. The tramp had whiskers and a heart with a broken top where his hair poked through. He was smoking a pipe and every time he gave a pile sparks flew out of it. That's a lovely tune you are playing, said the Trump. There's nothing I like better than a tune on the violin. So Patrick played even harder, and the sparks from the pipe of the whisk whiskery drum got bigger and brighter until they were showers of fireworks. On they all went along the road, it had just taken possession. Cash and Meek with their ribbon, the fish and the birds singing, the carols dancing, the whiskey drum puffing fireworks from his pipe. and Patrick playing on his violin. Before long, they met a drinker and his wife with a horse and cart. Look out! A procession! So the cash. Isn't it fun? How can he enjoy it? asks the drinker's wife. He's very thin and I don't know what to do for him. He's got a cough and a cold and a stomachache and a headache. You have to travel so slowly. I don't know. How we should get to the town before the dark. Let me pray my brain and see what happens, said Patrick. So he prayed a tune and you can see what happened. The drinker started to get Water. He lost his cough and his cold 
and his stomach ache and his headache until he was well and smiling and happy again. And not only that, look what happened to his horse in the court. The drinker and his wife grabbed on and so did. Patrick and Cash and Mick and the whiskey trump. The fish and the birds flew above them. And the girls galloped along behind. And they all got back to the town before the dark. The end.